Hello YouTube and welcome to episode 13. I am going to take a B2 essay, edit it and up level it to a C1 level and beyond. Let's begin. I am going to start by reading the B2 essay. How to solve the homelessness crisis. In many countries, homelessness is growing. In towns and cities, more and more people are living in the street. Why is this happening? What can we do to help? Firstly, many homeless people have mental problems. This means they can't have a job to get money for rent. If people are too ill mentally to work, the government should supply homes for them. Remember, we are going to correct this. There are some mistakes in this B2 essay. Secondly, in many countries, there are not enough houses or apartments. There are too many people and not enough places to live. We need to build more houses to solve this problem. Finally, the cost of rents is now very high. Also, the cost of products is high. These two things are making more people unable to get a house and because of this, they are homeless. We can solve this by controlling rents so owners cannot keep increasing rents. In conclusion, homeless is a complicated thing with many different causes. However, I believe we must do something to stop this emergency in society and treat people with kindness. Let's begin by taking a look at the title and the first paragraph. How to solve the homelessness crisis. That title, is absolutely fine. In many countries is a fronted adverbial, so we should have a comma. In many countries, comma, homelessness is growing. In towns and cities, comma, that's a fronted adverbial. More and more people are living in the street. Now, when we are talking about living in the street as a homeless person, we actually use the preposition on, living on the street. Why is this happening? What can we do to help? So let's see how we can take this to a C1 level and above. I'm going to start with how to resolve the homelessness crisis. Resolve is a little bit higher level than solve. Now, instead of in many countries, I'm going to use the fronted adverbial across the globe. Now, across the globe sounds better than across the world. Homelessness is growing. Let's say homelessness is rising, and then I'm going to say at record levels. Record levels means the highest it has ever been. Across the globe, homelessness is rising at record levels. So if you want to talk about a phenomena that's happening more than ever before, you can say at record levels. And then I'm going to add a prepositional phrase with increasing numbers of people forced to live on the, on the streets. I'm going to use the plural. It sounds better to me as a native speaker with record numbers of people forced to live on the streets. So, why is this happening? How about we say, what are the causes behind this appalling trend? So appalling means absolutely terrible. And a trend is something, a new pattern, which is happening in society or in the world, a trend. And what action can be taken to turn the tide? Now that's a fantastic C2 level expression, to turn the tide. Literally, the tide is when the water in the sea rises twice a day. So when the moon moves, the gravity of the moon pulls the water. And in English, we call that the tide. However, the expression to turn the tide means to reverse a situation. It's a very formal fantastic expression to use in this kind of essay. Firstly, many homeless people have mental problems. So firstly, it's a fronted adverbial. There should be a comma after that. And then mental problems, really, you should say mental health problems. This means they can't have a job to get money for rent. Very simple sentence. If people are too, and it should be mentally ill, to work, the government should supply homes for them. So the expression is to be mentally ill. Let's see if we can take this paragraph 
and up level it to a C1 level or C2 even better. I'm going to keep firstly. So firstly, and I have a fantastic way of saying this, many homeless people are besieged. So besieged is a very high level word. When somebody or something is besieged, it means they are completely overwhelmed to be besieged by something. Many homeless people are besieged by mental health issues. This means they can't have a job to get money for rent. Let's begin the next sentence with an adverb. Tragically, so very, very sadly. This results in the inability to work and earn money to afford housing and therefore earn money to afford housing. So it says here, if people are too mentally ill to work, the government should supply homes for them. How about we say a simple solution would be for the government to intervene, intervene. So to intervene means to become involved. And then we'll have an adverbial providing housing for those too ill to work. Now I will be reading this at the end to check for mistakes and to improve it even further. Secondly, in many countries there are not enough houses or apartments. Secondly is a fronted adverbial, so it should have a comma. There are too many people and not enough places to live. We need to build, we need to build more houses, that should be plural, to solve this problem. How can we improve this paragraph? I'm going to keep secondly, and then I'm going to say keep in many countries. Now that's another fronted adverbial, so I will put a comma. Secondly, in many countries, and then instead of saying there are not enough houses, I have a fantastic sentence. There is a dire housing shortage. Dire means really terrible and a shortage is not enough of something. And then they've said too, there are too many people and not enough places. So if we start with this, quite simply, comma, there are insufficient, that means not enough, insufficient homes for the population. And then we need to build more houses to solve this problem. It is clear that a huge increase in home building is required to meet the demand. And this expression to meet the demand is a really great expression to use. You have a demand for something and then companies or the government have to try and meet that demand. So in this case, the demand is for more houses. We need to meet that demand. We need to build more houses. Finally, that should be a comma, another fronted adverbial without a comma. The cost of rents is now very high. Also, the cost of products is high. These two things are making more people unable to get a house and because of this, they are homeless. We can solve this by controlling rents so owners cannot keep increasing rents. There are no grammatical mistakes there. The only problem is we need to make it sound more C2 level. I'm going to keep finally and I'm going to show you a fantastic verb. I may have used this in one of my other videos. The cost of rent has skyrocketed. To skyrocket is just like a rocket to go up really, really quickly. And if I say in recent years, and then this talks about and the cost of products is high. The cost of products going up, we call that inflation. So I'm going to use this expression coupled with rising. So finally, the cost of rent has skyrocketed in recent years, coupled with rising inflation. Coupled with means together with. And then these two things are making more people unable to get a house. I'm going to use this expression, this perfect storm. When we are talking about two or more bad factors, we call it a perfect storm. It means a terrible situation which has been caused by two or three bad things happening at the same time. This perfect storm has put housing out of reach. 
that's a metaphor. When you can't reach something, it's too far away. To put something out of reach means that people cannot obtain it. This perfect storm has put housing out of reach for many. And, comma, as a result, homelessness, I'm going to say, is now more prevalent. Prevalent means very common. One way to tackle. To tackle a problem means to try and solve it. One way to tackle this is to introduce rent controls. And then we'll have an adverbial. Now, they've said owners. You can say owners. However, the correct word is landlords. So preventing landlords from raising rents and then i'm going to use an adverbial unreasonably which i can spell right in conclusion fronted adverbial needs a comma homelessness so homeless is the adjective homelessness is the noun is a complicated thing we should never be using a wo the word thing if we're aiming for c1 or c2 with many different causes however i believe we must do something to stop this emergency in society and treat people with kindness grammatically correct. Let's use to conclude. In conclusion, to conclude, they are the same. I just want to show you another way of saying something. Homelessness, instead of a complicated thing, is a complex phenomenon. Phenomenon is one. Phenomena means more than one. So phenomenon caused by diverse factors. And then, however, I'm going to use a different word. Nevertheless, a great way to start a sentence. Nevertheless, I believe immediate action is required if we are to tackle. Now, I'm realized I've used required and tackle, and I just used them earlier. So when I do my final edit, I'll look at that. Is required if we are to tackle. And this, instead of emergency in society, let's use the adjective societal emergency and enable everyone to live with dignity. I am about to do my final edit, but before I do, let me tell you that this essay, together with all of my other advanced essays, is now available as a PDF to download. There is a link in the description of this video. There is also a link to my Patreon page where you can find out about how you can help support me and this channel and some of the offers that are available. So let's now do the final edit. How to resolve the homelessness crisis across the globe. Homelessness is rising at record levels, with increasing numbers of people forced to live on the streets. What are the causes behind this appalling trend, and what action can be taken to turn the tide? Great introduction. Firstly, many homeless people are besieged by mental health issues. Tragically, this results in the inability to work and therefore earn money to afford housing. A simple solution would be for the government to intervene, providing housing for those too ill to work. Secondly, in many countries, there is a dire housing shortage. Quite simply, there are insufficient homes for the population. It is clear that a huge increase in home building is required to meet the demand. Finally, the cost of rent has skyrocketed in recent years, coupled with rising inflation. This perfect storm has put housing out of reach for many and, as a result, homelessness is now more prevalent. One way to tackle this is to introduce rent controls, preventing landlords from raising rents unreasonably. To conclude, homelessness is a complex phenomenon caused by diverse factors. Nevertheless, I believe immediate action is required. Now, I just used required. So I'm going to say necessary, and I can never remember how to spell necessary. There we are. I believe immediate action is necessary if we are to tackle the societal emergency and enable everyone to live with dignity. So I'm going to substitute tackle with solve. There we have a fantastic 
C2 level essay. I hope you have enjoyed this video and that you found it useful. If you did, you can do a few things to help me and my channel. You can give the video a like, leave me a comment with a question or maybe an idea for another video, and you can also subscribe. It's free, but it really will help me. And finally, if you know somebody who is learning English at this level, please share this video with them. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.